just do some general stuff. We look at guys pissing outside of the metro. I can see his penis right now and he's shaking it off and he thought nobody saw, but I just watched a penis piss into the snow. Okay, if I could show you, I would have, but I was appalled with it anyhow. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. So I just stopped in this parking lot at a &W thinking I wanted a &W, but then I realized that a &W is expensive as all get out, okay? But then I looked in the rear view mirror, and as you can see here, I'll show you. My favorite burger, Team Burger, are on for $3.99. It's meant to be. Cheap teens in the mirror are closer than they appear. Let's get teens for $3.99. Easy speed demon. Five skins for an order of onion rings, eh? Oh, more than a team burger. Not too bad though, what? Eight bucks, 10 bucks, 15, probably like $16 for that. Let's park somewhere incognito. We're going to the grocery store parking lot. Side, inconspicuous, looking like a drug dealer, eating team burgers. <laughs> Hello, officer. What are you doing? I'm filming a mukbang. Parking lot pimping. We've been, oh, that's that sun is gonna be just a little too intrusive, my friends. Sometimes the sun is a little too fun, you know? And by that, I mean it blows out my face. It blows out the picture of my face. It gives me a little too rosy, a little too rosacea, Ros Rosetta Stone. What am I talking about? Been a minute since we've had some a &W, but they hooked it up. We got the ranch and a cup. We got the ketchups. And these rings are looking proper tings. Same as these teen bees. These teen birds are looking delicious. The layering of the onion, the pickle. I can smell that mustard. Real cheese, bacon, lettuce, tomato. You know we're going to put some rings on these burgers too for surely. All right, let's get into this. So no a &W root beer with this meal, but I do have a Polar Pop, 89 cents at the corner store. It's half Barks root beer and half Dr. Pepper. I was on my way here. Uh, I was pasty because I just left a interview actually. Um, did a lot of talking, met with a guy about chefing it up somewhere. And uh, I was pasty after that. And then I was like, I'm hungry. And uh, I made a video yesterday featuring McDonald's, but my camera at home, the card didn't actually record it properly. So when I went into the video, I was missing half of it. It was just blanked out, no video, and I was pissed, okay? So I already made this video yesterday talking about what I'm gonna talk about today in this video, which was like the welcoming of a bunch of the newcomers. Now, I don't know if the newcomers are watching this type of video because they're coming off of a short of mine that actually gained some traction in the algorithm. So God bless the algorithm for still giving a shit about my channel every once in a year, it seems like. But uh, welcome to y'all. If you're watching this video from the reels, this is what we do. We eat burgers and other stuff and we talk shit and we talk about life and just do some general stuff. We look at guys pissing outside of the metro. I can see his penis right now and he's shaking it off. And he thought nobody saw, but I just watched a penis piss into the snow. Okay, if I could show you, I would have, but I was appalled with it anyhow. Teen Burgers, one of my favorite burgers. So is the Whopper. The Whopper is my favorite burger. That's why I made that short. And it said, uh, making my favorite burger as a sub. Now we'll talk about that, but we're going to have a bite here first. Okay, now this is also in my top three favorite burgers probably. Just loaded with all the perfect things. Has cheese, which people were really mad at on that short, but but uh, certain burgers deserve cheese and some don't. Anyhow, let's bite it. That layering is just perfect. What's better than a team burger is a team burger for four bucks. Because they're usually something like almost eight regularly. Beautiful burger, especially with the added onion ring. 
Mm. So, I put out a short a while back. It had like a few thousand views for like most of its life for the last three weeks, month. Okay, guys, we got it. Um, <laughs> and then out of nowhere, I just noticed it was like at 15K, then it was at 65K, then it was at 270,000. Then it's like at like 375,000, like right now, as of today type thing. And a bunch of subscribers are rolling in off that. So I'm a little bit mind blown and flabbergasted because <laughs> I really thought my channel would never see the algorithm ever again. But that's how I got my first pop on here was the algorithm bless me uh, off a wing video. So if you're new here, uh, that's what got me a little bit popping in the first place was a wing video, Buffalo wings, a few million views, but I got a ton of subscribers off it. In the grand scheme of shorts, getting a, you know, 400,000 views on a short, it's actually low end because shorts get crazy amount of views. But uh, I'll take it. Grateful for that. The funniest shit about reading through some of the comments on the short is people are pissed. And I mean pissed. <laughs> that there's no cheese on the burger that I made. Everybody's like, where's the cheese at? It's nothing without cheese, Dylan. Everybody's calling me Dylan and Bryson. Like, I'm the whitest guy ever, and I am. But my lack of seasoning and no cheese has nothing to do with being a Dylan Bryson or a Chaz or Skyler. Even though I'm the stereotypical carbon copy cutout of those guys. It's just that we've had this conversation on this channel before. If you're an OG, you'll know. If you're a newcomer, you'll understand that I'm a Whopper purist. The Whopper is designed without cheese. And with minimal seasoning, salt and pepper. There's no need for all this other jazz on a Whopper. There's an option to put cheese, but it's an option. It's not the it's not the standard, right? It's designed like that for a reason. So that's why there's no cheese on that. Because I prefer Whoppers with no cheese. Now, Big Mac, cheese. Teen Burger, cheese. Wendy's burger. Cheese. Any smash burger I'd ever make? You betcha. Cheese. Grommet. Extra points if you know that reference. Onion rings, ranch. Lots of things, ranch. Wings, <laughs> ranch. Rings are on point today too. Crumbly in all the right ways. But anyways, got like 1200 new subscribers. So that's sick because I've been getting like a hundred new subscribers for the last, for a month, for the last forever.
So don't be mad at me y'all, but you might see some repurposed cooking segments you've already seen condensed into crack cocaine clips. And you might see me throwing out some more shorts on the channel to rope in some new growth, perhaps. Okay, onion rings ketchup, also amazing. So if y'all wanna have a go, go have a good little laugh, I suggest going back and visiting, a, visiting the short that gained traction and read through the comment. It's pretty funny. Entertaining for sure. For me. Hard to say. Onion rings and ketchup or onion rings and ranch. Which is better, I do not know, because they're both really, really good. Alright. Perfect team burger number two. And a lesson I learned about shorts that i was always wondering is how profitable are shorts i always wondered how much money they can help you make <coughs> and i've got my answer now that video significantly spiked my views for the month it didn't affect the money at all. Like barely. So it's evident that this short form content, look at that. Just such a perfectly, oh my God, layered burgie. That the short form content doesn't generate a bunch more revenue. It's a long form that pays. But I was always intrigued to know that. How worth it shorts really are. But I guess if they gain you more love in the algorithm, more uh, exposure, then that can convert in your channel uh, in, in views on your other stuff. So. It's maybe worth it in that sense. But maybe that answers the questions to anybody out there else who's wondering about shorts and how they pay. I should really have like a GoPro cam, like a first person POV cam. Cause when I'm eating this, from my perspective, it just constantly looks amazing but from your perspective it's like <laughs> this shitty just a bun in a hand that's why i always gotta show you guys bites like just to know where i'm headed so you can have a you can manifest <laughs> uh the same bite vicariously right But yeah, I was kind of pissed yesterday. I smashed a perfect McDick's meal to tell this same tale. And technology got the best of me. As it sometimes does. Unfortunately. And this lady, loading up her groceries, thinks I'm a crazy person. <laughs> Talking to myself, eating a burger in a parking lot. So we shut her out. And we continue. But we're almost done.
we are done. Now I'm extra crazy person. Crooked glasses, but at least I don't hang my piece and pee outside of the back of the grocery store. Like that guy did. Anyhow, those were delicious. Easily in my top five fast food chain burgers. We've done this before though. Whopper being number one. Big Mac probably close, probably second, very close for first. The team burger is like right in there too. Number three probably. And any burger that you add a crunchy, crispy uh, onion ring to, or onion anything, onion straws, gets at least two points better, right? So those with onion rings, even better. Now, have I ever had a Big Mac with anything onion crispy on it? No, but I think it would be amazing. So maybe we'll have to try that one day. Source some crispy onion things and toss it on some Macs. Anyhow, <laughs> welcome to the new people. If you even watch this, I don't know, maybe you're here for the shorts. Maybe you're here to just get mad at me about cheese. I'm not sure. But that'll wrap that. Till the next one, y'all know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.